Hi, this is Cardina Posit with CardinaKitchen.com and EasyVeggieMealPlans.com. And today, my husband and I are out hiking. We're out here in the Joshua Tree uh, Yucca Valley area where I was born. And uh, it's, uh, it's kind of a moon landscape out here, I have to tell you. And, uh, but we really, really enjoy it. We did have a fire come through about three years ago. And, and as you can see right up here, you'll, you'll see some of the, the burnt trees. But you know what? It's the desert's regenerating and all the dormant seeds uh, have uh, started to grow and sprout again. So there's life coming back out here, We're back into the desert. So it's an amazing regenerating process. So this is uh, this is where I was born out here, and this is like this is our backyard where we used to play and and play pretend uh, games and uh, and hike and uh, and kind of explore all around these these mountains. And uh, yeah, so um, I was born right down here. Uh, we have a dome property or dome house down there, and. Uh, just a really peaceful area that we always like to come back to and enjoy and and uh, have a good time. So, back from our hike. It was awesome. It felt so good to get up there and, and really worked out, you know, get a little workout in. So um, now we're ready for breakfast. I'm going to show you a little a quick uh, breakfast that I make all the time. And I'm using all the ingredients that I use in the, the recipes in the Easy Veggie Meal Plan. And uh, we're going to make, we're going to start with almonds and protein powder and fruit, that sort of thing. So I'll show you, I, you know how I like to soak almonds, and you can refer back to some of my other blogs that talk about how to soak and sprout seeds. And, uh, yeah, I, I travel with them this way in my lunchbox. I have a sealed little lid in here so that they don't leak all over. So when I'm ready to drain the almonds, i got to shake this little lid out if it will come out. There we go. Shake the lid out. And then I can just drain off my almonds, and I'll be ready to make my dessert or my, uh, my breakfast. I'm just going to dump it right there. Okay. So I got the almonds ready to go. Now I have a protein mix here. And this protein mix, uh, we made ahead of time. And uh, what it is, is I'm using the rice protein powder this time, the Nutribiotic. There's also a green superfood powder in here has a little bit of uh, strawberry kiwi flavor, a little bit of cinnamon, um, looks like my husband put some pecans in here, and uh, a little bit of cacao nib. So what we're going to do is, and actually the, the almonds, I mean this will last several days, so it's a little too much for one meal for us, so I'm going to dump some of it out, and then I'll reuse my jar, I'll just put them back in the jar in a little bit. So I'll probably do about that much. Maybe a little bit more, Mark? That's good. Okay. All right, so I'll store those in here. I got a couple cooler packs in there as well. Help keep everything cool. So I got to dig deep here. But, you know, we just do a little preparation ahead of time. Just kind of, oh, yeah, there's a little bit of cinnamon in here, too. But we just throw everything in a little, a little container. And uh, this is enough for probably three or four days, actually. We're really out here for the weekend, but uh, just make sure that we're real ultra prepar prepared. So a little bit of cinnamon in here. You could add uh, nutmeg, cardamom. You could do like a pumpkin spice, which is actually a really good flavor in, uh, in smoothies or in little in my little protein treats. And uh, now I'm going to put some banana in it. Here we go. And uh, it's still got the little organic sticker. Mine's a little brown, but I don't mind. It's still good. Probably uh, a little traveled, well traveled here. So what I'll do, I'll just cut this open and then uh, slice it in here. 
I'm going to also end up putting some, a little bit of apple in here, too. I like apple, cinnamon, and bananas. And this is for my husband and I, so I'm going to use the whole thing. If it was just me, I'd probably use half of it. But, oops, I missed that one. That one's yours, Mark. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So good to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I'll just do a little bit of apple to show you real quick. I'll just cut out a slice. Yeah, you can use any fruit you want. This is what I happen to have in the house. And the in the seeds actually already are out of out of the middle. Whoops. I'll eat that one. So I'll probably end up putting about half to the the entire apple in there. And then I'm just gonna add some water. No blender needed. So if I was at home. And I had time, I might blend this up and make a smoothie out of it. But when we're out here, we get a little, we're just going to make it like a thick cereal. And it'll take me a minute to mix it all up. Actually, I'll probably put a little more water in it. And it's a really refreshing breakfast. So, it's pretty easy. Um, just a small amount of preparation needed in terms of uh, protein powder. And just took the almonds that I had soaking in my refrigerator. I tend to always have some sort of almonds or sunflower seeds soaking. So that, that makes it really easy. Now we're going to have a high-energy breakfast out here at our campsite. Hope you enjoyed this. And uh, please check out Ed Easy Veggie Meal Plans. And, uh, and if you're interested in, in more healthy, easy meals just like this, they'll help you stay lean and lose weight.